Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Is it necessary? That's going to be the phrase of the year. As we go through this year, is it necessary? A lot of things we do are not necessary, and it's creating a lot of problems in our life. Jesus has to be first in everything in a believer's life. He has to be first. There will be many trials that will come your way, my friend, and that will put you, what you believe, to the test. If all we have is Jesus, then we have everything. Let me repeat that. If all we have is Jesus, we have everything. Jesus has to be first in everything that we do. But the enemy would have you to believe that there are other physical things that you need that are necessary in order for you to be the kind of Christian you think you should be. And that's what a lot of people think, a lot of Christians think. If I just have this, I can be a better Christian. If I just have this, I can serve Jesus right. But that's not so. Put Jesus first. If, if all we have is Jesus, then Jesus is everything. He's all we need. Uh, listen to this example in the book of Jude on how Jude set out to write about salvation. But because of what was happening during the time, he believed it was necessary to write about something that was slowly creeping into the church. So you hear what I'm saying? He set out to write about salvation. But then there was some other things that were happening uh, that was creeping into the body that he found it was necessary to write about to the church. And we find that in the book of Jude, uh, verses 3 and 4. Apostasy was creeping in. And he said he had to write about this. Um, and what he is saying is that we got to contend for the faith that was once entrusted to the saints. And so now he's turning to salvation is necessary. Uh, studying the Bible is necessary. But he saw something that was starting to threaten the things that was going on in the body. And he f saw that this was necessary to write about contending for the faith. As Christians, we should not chase after every new fad that comes out and think we have to have it. We need it or we want it. This is what the enemy is using to distract uh, Christians from what is truly necessary. So as we go through this life, we're going to have trials. There's going to be tests. And we have to hold on to Christ first. And through uh, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, is going to show us what is necessary, what we need to take care of first. As we talk more about these lessons, we're going to talk about contending for the faith. My friend, it is necessary that we study the scriptures, uh, that we have a relationship with Jesus Christ. It is necessary in the world we live in today because so many believers know so little about our Lord Jesus Christ, and that's really unfortunate. Put Jesus first. If all we have is Jesus, then we have everything. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things.